Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com and in this video, I want to show you the cameras I use to create my videos for YouTube. Give you an idea of uh, the quality of each one and why I use them. And yeah, uh, I got a few emails about that saying, hey, what kind of gear I use and I love talking about this kind of stuff. So yeah, this is going to be a fun video. All right, so before I begin, uh, this video is actually being filmed on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. I recently uh, got this new phone and and while I generally never ever use a, a camera phone for my video, I find that the, um, the camera on the Samsung Galaxy is actually pretty good. Especially that wide-angle lens that's, that's on it, the ultra wide-angle, it allows me to wait for vlogging, wait for vlogging. So uh, that's what's filming me right now. So my main video, uh, my, my main camera, that I use, these are the two. The first one is the, uh, this is the Canon EOS M6. Uh, it's a nice compact mirrorless camera, APS-C sensor, and it's great for vlogging, very, very popular with YouTuber because it has a flip out screen so you can, you know, do the, hey, see yourself while you're, while you're talking and stuff, and uh, it's relatively compact. I have it with an 11 to 22 millimeter ultra wide angle lens. So this gives me that wide angle shot, just like the, like in the uh, Samsung Galaxy right now. And pricing wise, it's relatively inexpensive. I believe the body is $500 and this lens is 350. So less than a thousand dollars. So pretty good. Uh, my second camera, it's uh, this one right here, significantly bigger. This is the Sony a7 III. And this is a full frame mirrorless camera. So the sensor is significantly bigger than this. Uh, I guess as an example here, we, uh, I open it up here. You can see the size of the sensor compared to uh, the sensor on the, on the EOS. So you can see the, the two sensors there. The Sony is significantly bigger. And as it was, because it's full frame, the lenses are bigger too. This is uh, also a wide ultra wide angle lens is 16 to 35, but uh, it's every bit as wide as this, but you can see the huge difference in, in lens size. The Sony is, uh, as you can see, it's also quite a bit heavier. Uh, not as ideal setup for, for vlogging, you could, but there's no flip up screen. So you pretty much have to guess where you, where you are. <laughs> and, but the quality, it's pretty amazing and you'll see it when I do the comparison. Pricing wise, significantly more expensive. The body alone, just the body is $2,000 and the lens, this lens costs more than a camera. So this lens is $2,200. So $4,200 for this, for this camera compared to less than $1,000. So over four times difference in price. So then the question is, is it four times better? Well, let's, Let's find out, let's find out, all right? Now, uh, one last thing. I'm just gonna show you the video quality of, the, of these cameras. I'm not gonna show you the audio because uh, uh, honestly, audio on all these cameras, they all, they all suck. Uh, the audio is being recorded right now on my Zoom H1n and I will sync the audio to all the video afterward because, uh, and yeah, the most, a lot of people like to talk about cameras and I get most of my question when, to, when I talk about video is what camera do I use? What, what lenses should I buy? What those kind of stuff? And, and they pay so little attention to the audio when the truth of the matter is the most important element of video is audio. Great video starts with great audio. So if your audio sucks. Uh, I don't care if, you, if you're using a $14 camera, if your audio sucks, I'm not going to watch it. All right. So, um, the audio has been recorded on the Zoom. All right, so, so let's begin, let's begin. So this is the, you just seen how the, the video looks on the Samsung Galaxy S10. Let's switch over to the Canon EOS 6. Okay, so this is the uh, video on the Canon EOS M6. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I personally like it. Like I said, um, I, I like, really love to flip up screen because right now I can see myself when I'm filming. So, uh, I can tell exactly where the edge of the, uh, of the screen is, whereas if I was using the big Sony, I can't do that. Um, the downside to the only, the only downside I can see to the EOS M6 is the resolution. It can, its maximum resolution is 
1080p. It cannot do 4K, uh, unlike uh, you know my cell phone can do 4K and this can do 4K. But with the uh, EOS M6, you are limited to 1080p. All right. So, and the other the other thing uh, has to do with the, the lens. Uh, this this wide angle lens is great. Like I said, it's nice and wide angle, but the f-stop uh, does not is not constant when you're zooming in and out. Like, uh, and it gets low as 3.5 f-stop. So if I were to zoom in, let me zoom in here. See, if I zoom, the lighting the lighting changes. They have to readjust the lighting because the f-stop goes from 3.5 to 4.5 or 5, and so it is not consistent when you're zooming. So therefore, it has to readjust the uh, the exposure. So let me zoom out again. So you see, it got brighter. Now it's gonna redarken itself. Whereas this uh, Sony lens is an f2.8 and it can do that across the entire focal range from 16 to 35 millimeters. So you don't have to re it doesn't have to readjust exposure and you can just zoom in and out without the light changing like, like this one just did. And yeah, so this is the, the, uh, yeah, the Canon EOS M6 and that's, uh, that's what it looks like. So let's switch over to, oh, one more thing. The uh, another thing I talk about is the f-stop. This is a 2.8 lens and the Canon is, uh, starts at 3.5 to like 5.6 and therefore you can't get that blurry background that you see like, uh, yeah, let, let me zoom in again, I'll show you. So zoom in, it changes the lighting and it focuses on me, I just duck down a little bit, but you see the background, it's, it's uh, yeah, you, you can still see the background and stuff, but because, yeah, it, it, it can't blur the background. So zoom back out. And yeah, my, my biggest complaint is usually the light changes when you when you're zooming in and out because the focal the f stop not consistent. So let's let's try this uh, Sony and see what you will get when you spend four x the money. Okay, final camera. This is the Sony A7 III with the 16 to 35 uh, G Master f 2.8 super wide angle lens. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Uh, is it worth $4,200? Is it worth over four times more than the, uh, the Canon? I'm filming this in 4K. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's all by the way, the, uh, the video, because this camera only does 1080p, I will be upscaling up to 4K, so, so this way, because uh, yeah, it's gonna be 4K video since the, since the Samsung Galaxy is in 4K, that's in 4K, I'll just upscale this, and, and it, it works, it works, but, uh, a uh, couple observation right now because there's no flip up screen. I, I can't see myself, so I'm taking a guess at where the where the edges are. And the the other thing is uh, this lens has a f 2.8, so that means that it can blur the background pretty well, especially if I zoom in. So let me let me show you a bit by zooming in here. So if I zoom in, all you see is you should only see my face, and the background is should be totally blur. And so it gets that really cinematic uh, movie style look where you want to, you know, just concentrate on the character and blur the background. So that's what that's for. Zoom back out here. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even, when, even when zoom out, if I were to walk closer to the camera like this, uh, it should blur the background a little bit as well. So yeah, that's the, and that, that's the advantage. And that's why people use full frame. And that's why people use lenses that go to a really low f-stop. Uh, this because this is a, yeah, and it starts at f3.5, f3.5, it really can't blur the background that, that well, at least not as well as, as a Sony. So, yeah, that, that, that's the, basically, I hope you find this uh, comparison interesting, so uh, let me know, what, what do you think? Uh, Samsung Galaxy S10, the uh, Canon EOS M6, or the $4,200 Sony A7 III, which one, do you like the best? Which one do you think is the best bang for the buck? Uh, give me your comment, leave your feedback below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and if you're a first time, uh, first time viewer here, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help me a lot. All right. Thank you, John Chell from johnchell.com. Thank you very much. See you guys next time.